xyp.com use code q save your time save your money stop gambling on packs get the coins you want get the team you want right now prices are down black friday special is today what are you waiting on go spend your money there hey 6k.com another black friday sell go there now use code gog get the my team you want on nba 2k23 quarterback tier list straight to the point if you like to hit the like button support the channel thank you very much for the help let's get to it right no wasting time here uh russell wilson inconsistent he doesn't have a hot rep master he doesn't have a conductor he misses a lot of abilities and he misses a lot of passes do not use this card at all you want the worst release in the game go get justin herbert he's the worst release in the game uh the biggest wind up when you're trying to throw the ball short medium or deep all three levels Missing a lot of abilities, really outdated, should not be on your team. If you see a quarterback you're wondering that's not on this list, I can answer you in detail. Uh, but I'm just going to tell you right now, because they're not relevant no more and they're so outdated, it's not even worth talking about. Speaking of horrible cards, uh, Justin Fields. No set fit lead, no fearless. He's a runner, that's it. Uh, he gets no good passing abilities. If you don't have separate lead, the ball's going to float. <laughs> and good luck completing a pass. Defense getting fast. They're going to get to that ball, and you're going to be throwing picks that you shouldn't have thrown. Up next, how about Stafford? Stafford is going to be a guy that he can pass in the pocket. Besides that, he's a statue, right? Uh, separate lead, fearless. And you know who he's just like? He's just like uh, a Cutler, but Cutler's a little better. And he's just like, um, where's Carr? There's Carr. So all, all of them are usable. Uh, Sephard lead, Fearless. Um, Cutler's got a stronger arm. And they're all not good runners, right? So if that's what you want and you want to get by on that, they're good enough. You know who was absolutely trash? Patrick Mahomes. They they gave him a card with like no abilities and I don't know why. They should just gave him a good card. I mean, at this point. So he should be getting a card soon, I guess, to upgrade because this card is not even usable. Uh, do not get that card. Please do not get that card. Josh Allen. He's A tier. Uh, his abilities are there. Yeah, his AP is crazy expensive. He can't run. He feels like a tight end trying to run, trying to zigzag and spins terrible. Uh, he's definitely, I quick sold him if you want to know why I did. Uh, but he's usable, right? He's a free quarterback. Hey, if, you, you like, if you're Josh Allen fan, that's cool. I like him. He's a good quarterback. I like, I like him. Um, but... There's definitely better quarterbacks in this game, and his AP setup is extremely expensive. And Galapolo, oh, Jimmy. Uh, he's in this category too, but let me tell you something. Just go get Cutler. He's way cheaper. Jimmy's overpriced at 400K, and Cutler's cheaper. You're going to get the same result, basically. Um, if you're just looking for a guy set in the pocket, I go get Cutler all these guys. Um, definitely not Wilson. You can move Wilson down the seat here. I wouldn't even argue with you at all. Um, Lamar, man, he's really dropped. Uh, he's getting outdated. He doesn't have a lot of abilities. He is, and this is where 90 Vic would be too, right beside him. Uh, right hand, left hand is the only real difference. I would stay away from Lamar at this point. Um, there's just quarterbacks that do so many more things. And Lamar's going to get an upgrade. He's going to be amazing. But not right now. Fields, he's got to go here. He is right. Man. Yeah, I guess he's in front of Wilson. He's a big upgrade here. The record breaker card. They do finally give him set feet lead. So that's going to be the biggest difference. So there's no reason to really get this Fields. Um, you got to at least upgrade this if you're going to run Fields. Which I would not run Fields. And Gino. Set feet lead fearless, and he's a little faster. So he's them, but a little better wills. 
Uh, Gino does not feel that great running, however, but he does do a little more. Uh, Gino, like trying to move like left to right with him zigzag, it's it's just not. It doesn't feel good at all. He's definitely not a Vic or a, a Steve Young runner. He's he's RG three. He's nowhere near that level of running at all. Uh, yeah. Bert, I like Bert. Bert is good. Uh, his APs are expensive. He's fast enough, and he is better than you probably think. Um, you have not tried Bert because he has a weird name. Nobody really knows who he was because I know most people watch my channel. I see the age group. No, I mean, I didn't know who he was. Uh, try him out. Um, he gets good abilities. Uh, he gets good team chems. And Bernie's just a worse bird. That's all he is. This is a downgrade. This is... Bernie with wheels, and this is <laughs> Bernie without wheels. So, there's not really too much to say about the release. Um, this, this is a downgrade, basically. So, Fitzpatrick's still a budget beast that's hanging in there, you know? If you want a runner, go get Jackson, but Fitzpatrick still has Sefi Lee, still has a good price tag, and um, at least he can get the ball in between the defense a little bit. Um, there's definitely better passers, obviously. Colin Murray has nothing. This guy is just hasn't had any good abilities. His next card might be really, really good. This card, I would stay away from it. Um, even the price drops, don't get them. It's just a waste of coins. You're going to buy them and you're going to sell them. Don't do that, okay? Save your money, save your coins. Uh, same thing with Tua. Tua has not very many, many abilities, but he has more abilities than that. I would put him in front of worst release in the game. Uh, Tua is just a way worse RG3 and a way worse Vic and a way worse anybody that runs. Now, if you're going to get Tua, go get just upgrade a Geno if you need somebody that runs like that much. Because still, Tua is not an elite runner. As far as like spin move and stuff like that, I don't really like it. Um, Daniel Jones is also just going to be in this mix of guys with Sefit lead and fearless. That's good enough to get the job done. Now I like Stafford and I like Carr better. Um, he's he's in this mix. Um, if you want to, if you got him cheap and you want to keep him for throwing Sefit lead fearless, that's cool. That's fine. RG three. Wow, I do not like this card. Hmm. Take some heat for this one. Uh, I'll put him A tier. You could put him here. I won't argue with you. Um, you cannot put set feet lead and fearless with this card. You have to pick either or. You cannot. And that is huge. You don't have those abilities together in this game. I sit here and I watch people on Twitch, okay? I'm a big community guy. I'm always in Twitch chats. And I see a guy... Doesn't have fearless on, gets pressured, uh, throws a horrible ball on fourth down, costs him the drive, loses. And then I asked him in the chat, and I was like, okay, well, do you want to get, do you, do you ever run fearless? He's like, no, it's a waste. I'm like, that just costs you the game. That just costs you the game. If you had fearless, you complete that pass. And But the guy was wide open and he missed him. Guys, go get fearless. Don't. Don't waste your time and then blame the game. Um, Drew Bledsoe, he's basically uh, Fitzpatrick. You could change it in, minute, in and out. Um, they're just going to be same player, basically. Dante Culpepper, I'll put him right here. Um, he feels clunky. Uh, he's big. Uh, he's missing a lot of abilities like Hot Rock Master, Conductor, a bunch of stuff. So he's really getting outdated really fast right now. I stay away from him. Vic. Vic is S tier, but man, he's he expensive. Um, yeah, he's left handed. That bothers some people. He's way better than RG3. He has better abilities. Um, if you're saying I want to be the best running quarterback, it's not even close. It's Vic. Don't even kid yourself. Now, Steve Young is S tier. Steve Young is left handed. Steve Young has good abilities. Steve Young can run, but he can't run at Vic's level. So that is where I'm going to separate them at. But if you just want 
of the step down from running and not pay the price tag of it. Go get Young. There's something wrong with Young. He's fine. Aaron Rodgers, best release in the game. Um, definitely just go get him. If you want the best quarterback, go get him. Don't waste your money on Elway. Elway is uh, S-tier 2, but for his price, I mean, who's spending $4 million? Nobody's doing it, guys. So I can't put him in front of Rodgers. If, if he asked me, okay, well, who's absolutely better if I have unlimited coins? Elway's better because Elway gets Gunslinger, which even speeds up his release even more, and he already has the best release. So that's why I would put Elway in front of Rodgers as the best quarterback in the game. But there's no point in spending price on it. You guys, you're just killing yourself for a minuscule difference. Don't do not do that, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's the quarterback tier list, guys. If you have any questions about any of these cards, let me know down below. I have a review on every one of these cards on my channel. Go check them out. Hit the like button, guys. Support the channel. I really do appreciate every like. Thank you very much. And that's going to do it for me. I don't, I'll see you. Oh, wait. Uh, be kind of the reason. Help each other. Encourage each other. And I'll see you in the next one.